Hello YouTube, this is Jim in Texas and I'm in Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg is a very popular destination for Texas in general and bikers, motorcycle riders in particular. We're looking at their one of their original churches here. Fredericksburg is a is a German community founded uh, by German settlers in Texas in the uh, uh, period I think between 1800 and 1850. It's the original birthplace of Admiral Nimitz. Uh, it's a very busy, bustling place because people have come from all over Texas to shop here at the many shops and, uh, and to ride their motorcycles and to see and be seen. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the motorcycle and the, the camera on the handlebars and we'll just take a little uh, ride up and down the main drag of Fredericksburg, Texas. first settlers came were made of wood, but rapidly the Germans quarried stone and made brick. Check out that sport touring bike there on the left. I want one like that. That's my next bike when I get tired of my little ninja, although I'm still quite happy with my little ninja. They took me here on a 70 mile ride. Uh, very happy, totally comfortable, no pain, no, no problems, and uh, speed limiter a little bit more. Anyway. There's, I think that's the courthouse annex there on the right. This is the that's an old building that maybe the original courthouse. And on the right is their somewhat hideous new courthouse. On the left is the octagonal church that we were looking at, the original church in this area. And we'll go down the main street of kind of the original main street of, uh, of Fredericksburg. They, unlike uh, a lot of towns in Texas, they, they hold on to most of their architecture. You see that on the left, there's a, a hideous 1950s building, but then a lot of the buildings are original, like this one with the turret on it, is, you know, dates back to the 1800s, as does this next door neighbor there. A couple of newer buildings, you know, probably from the, maybe the 1900s, early 1900s, and then this bank on the end is, it's sort of hideous. It's a new construction, but at least it's somewhat compatible with uh, uh, the, the limestone uh, Texas German architecture. And there's a German word for the architecture they use. Lots of little shops and stuff. It's Sunday afternoon. They roll up the streets pretty early here in uh, in uh, in Fredericksburg. Uh, I was hungry by the time I finished. You know, this little drive around, I hadn't had lunch, and I was hungry. It was hard to find a place that was open, a local place. I went to Honda. It was an excellent place. Okay, here we're getting out of the original downtown. Still some nice buildings. We're coming up on uh, the Nimitz Hotel, and I'll yell at the camera to tell you about the Nimitz Hotel where Admiral Nimitz grew up. So you can listen to me yell if you listen close. We're passing the Nimitz Hotel uh, where the Nimitz family uh, operated. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you that Admiral Nimitz grew up in that hotel there. That's his family's hotel. I'm going to come down here and turn around at a little... Uh, restored uh, 1950s gas station. It's a very nice thing. I think it's a real estate office now. Uh, uh, if you keep going ahead, it's kind of just typical Main Street circa 2009, any little town. You know, the regular, there's Walmart down there, the regular Applebee's and things like that down that way. Well, I, I did my duty and my poor wife had to work today because she uh, owns a tax company and they work on this time of year all the time so but she uh, has a bell collection and I saw these little bells here in Fredericksburg so I got her a little bell uh, so she gave me a bell for my motorcycle so I'm giving her a bell too and I hope she likes it and I did my duty as a tourist and bought a bought a trinket this is my uh, first disappointment of this trip this uh, store has a a mustard bar and they have a hundred kinds of mustard and I wanted to buy some and it's four o'clock on Saturday they're supposed to be open but they're not no it's four o'clock on Sunday and they're, they're supposed to be closed you idiot mustard. sigh well if that's the worst thing on this trip I guess I'll be all right These, look at these guys on the Honda Potamus there in the red suits. They're looking at me like I'm an alien, like I just landed on a UFO. Yeah, I'm just a fat guy on a Ninja 250. It's not that horrible. Uh, quit looking at me like that. I think you're pretty ridiculous looking too, you Honda Potamus guys.
looking at the other side of the street now that we looked at earlier. Here's these guys. They think I'm. I think you're weird looking too, guys in the red jackets and the Honda Pyramus. This is still plenty of uh, original frame buildings. This frame building on the far left, I think, is not original. I mean, in terms of original in the 1900s or something, but they kept consistent with uh, Fredericksburg style architecture, which I compliment them for. That's, of course, an original building. I'm not sure about these little ones. Certainly, the fake Tudor building there is not original. That was the car dealer, I think. At one time, it's old. Oh, that's the car dealer there on the left. That's a 50s car dealer. They restored it, so it looks like a 50s car dealer with 50 car, 1950s cars in it, so it's kind of cool. Uh, these, these red buildings here are, you know, are relatively contemporary, I think. Just a regular souvenir shop you'd find anywhere from uh, Purdue Bay to Toyota to Fuego. Building there, I don't know. I'd like to strangle the guy who designed that. Not for Fredericksburg, maybe for somewhere else, but not Fredericksburg. So we'll just amble down the street. You see, we're getting into the older part of town, and a lot of these buildings are they were all back in the 1800s. Coming up on the courthouse, the courthouse must have been built in the 50s because it's some. I think it's called a federal style, and it looks like a prison. It's a, one of the ugliest courthouses in Texas. It's such a, they've got so much beautiful architecture in, Fre in Fredericksburg, but Gillespie County has that horrible courthouse. I bet this brown building is the original, not nearly as bad as that, that uh, Fortress of Solitude looking thing. There's uh, uh, some kind of city offices in that building, I think. We're going to make a left turn here, and if you look to my left as I approach this next stop, there are some, uh, there are some uh, beautiful frame houses on my left. These are just gorgeous houses. I'm sure they were built in the late 1800s or early 1900s. And, and the owners have, have kept them in immaculate condition. And, and they are just absolutely gorgeous. I turn left here and we'll lose sight of the group of houses. And they have a hideously ugly police station here. They'll be on the left as I make this left turn. That's the little square building is the police station. They don't waste any money on it. Unlike Austin, where it's busy, it's fantastically expensive per square foot, the most expensive place in the country. The city of Austin is best because that's the way it us do. Beautiful Art Deco building here I'll remark on. a nice Art Deco building over there. I don't know what it is. I'm about to do something kind of dumb. I don't think it's downright stupid, but it's risky. I'm going to parallel park. I'm going to park parallel to the curb here. Uh, just because I guess I was happy to find a parking place close to downtown. What I'm about to do is a good way to get your bike knocked over when the car in front of you, they jump in it and back into it because they can't see it. So I don't recommend doing what I did here. But I hope you enjoyed my little trip through Fredericksburg. I certainly did. Uh, really nice. About, uh, all, just shot a 200 mile day on my Ninja. Enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, total comfort. I uh, had a great time and I hope you enjoyed it too.